Today we'll begin in Georgia with a guard who may be the best player in his class. And he's not the first member of his family to appear on this show. That's this week's five-star feature. He may not be the biggest player on the court, but Sharif Cooper is usually one of the best. You think his size is going to be a disadvantage to him at some point, but it never has been. His IQ for basketball is way off the chart with anybody else that I've ever coached. You know, he's a coach on the floor. He understands the game. He makes a lot of really good decisions. The six foot one inch point guard from McEachern High School in Georgia can do things on the court that most high school players can only dream of. I think the thing that, that most people really like about his game is his creativity. I'm more in the score. Uh, my, I, I feel like my IQ has, is really my, my game. Uh, being that I can see the pass before it's open and help my teammates, I feel like my best aspect is making my teammates better. I would say kind of like art. You know, just because, you know, artists, they take their time with their work. You know, when he on the court, he takes his time. I guess when I say art, because art is the beginning all the way to the end, right? So if you see it for, for uh, 10 seconds, like what, what, is, what is this guy drawing? What is this, you know, what is this lady drawing? And then when it's finished, you're like, wow. So if you see him one quarter, like well, what is this guy doing? Two quarters, like what is he doing? Fourth quarter is like, oh, okay, now I see. So you don't get the full picture unless you see the whole game. If the names Cooper and McEachern sound familiar, it's because we visited this school a few years ago to interview Sharif's older sister, Taya. Now playing as a graduate student for Baylor, Taya was one of the most successful athletes McEachern has ever had. She won three state titles, two state player of the year awards, and she was an All-American in her senior season. He has a great relationship with his sister. One, because he was never able to play with her, train with her, it was always wait, you know, wait, 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 because I never wanted to burn him out too early. So he was always told to sit over there, watch, you know, pout, angry. So when he finally got his chance, it was like every single second was like his life depended on it because, you know, his sister, just watching his sister for so long, you know, it became, he became obsessed with having his turn and trying to be as good as her or, or even better. It was great being that I could see how much work it had to take and uh, work she put in to be where she was at. And she really did everything, McDonald's, Jordan, everything that I dreamed of and inspired to do. So. Being that I could watch her do it was great. Sharif has always admired his sister's accomplishments, but he's putting together a pretty amazing prep resume himself. He was not only Georgia's Gatorade Player of the Year last season, but he also won the USA Today National Player of the Year. More importantly, he led McEachern to a perfect 32-0 record and the school's first state title in boys basketball. Being that he made history 32-0, playing the national schedule, I don't think it could have got better than that. I couldn't even take all the credit. My team, my coaches, they all put me in great positions. Like, they so unselfish. If I'm doing good, they constantly give me the ball. You know, teams, sometimes jealousy kicks in, but not, not with this team. It's just supportive. You know, we won 10 or 11 national games and won two or three of the biggest tournaments in the country. Uh, that's a lot for a public school. When they talk about the very greatest teams that have ever been in Georgia in high school, uh, that team will be one of them. While his older sister is away at college, Sharif still has plenty of family in Georgia pushing him to be the best. He often works out with his father and his twin brother Omar, who plays at the Walker School, to make sure he's always pushing himself to improve. Yeah, we're super close. We talk every day, we with each other literally every day. So just playing the game, and I mean, I'm with him all day, so whatever I do, he basically doing. They grew up fighting every single moment. That's why, you know, I had, they had to go to different schools, because they fighting to see uh, who's going to get the ball when it's being taken out, and it's kind of like they competing on the court against each other opposed to playing. I think more than the work ethic that's rubbed off on him is the competitiveness of his dad and his sister. His dad now, he and his dad go at it. When they play, you know, Omar's a good player. He and Sharif battle. That's really what separated Sharif and Isaac Okoro from other players that we had was just the sheer competitiveness that they played with all the time, even in practice. Sharif is a consensus top 20 prospect in the 2020 class, and USA Today ranks him as the number two overall player. Um, I really didn't look at it. I didn't. I wasn't planning on getting it, but. Once you, once you put a lot of work in and you start to get acknowledged for it, it's, it's a great feeling. I kind of got to recognize that rankings really don't mean nothing. It's just, I don't know what it is, political, whatever it is, but 
it really don't mean it. So if you ranked at 30, you could still be better than the first person. It don't matter. You always feel like I got something to prove. Next season, Sharif will be taking his talents to Auburn University. As a strong program that's pretty close to home, Auburn seemed like the best place for him to progress towards his ultimate goal of reaching the NBA. I dreamed about that all my life. Um, just, I watched and watched and watched it, watched everybody, everybody do it. Seeing idolizing LeBron and all the, all the people, seeing how they did it and feeling that I got a chance to do it, that would be a dream come true. It would be very easy for a kid that's gone through what he has to be arrogant, very humble kid. Uh, kids line up everywhere to get an autograph. He gives us shoes away. He gives, I mean, he just, he takes the time to take a picture or give an autograph to anybody who's standing there. And he's just a great kid. He just loved the sport of basketball more than he loved a basketball game. He loved his teammates more than he loved himself. You know, he loved his brother more than he loved himself. So I think the one thing that I would want people to know is he, he's a we person. He's not a me person. A humble superstar with immense talent, Sharif Cooper is a name we could be hearing in the basketball world for many years to come.